Welcome back to another episode of Open Book. I'm your girl CC, and here today, this week, I have my boy Prince Atkins in the building. Hey, what's Would up? you prefer Prince Atkins or Chad? Yeah, either one's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna go with Chad, but y'all can call him Prince Atkins. Um, tell us a little bit about you. Um, he's a singer, so um, tell us how you started singing and where the name Prince Atkins actually came from. Um, how did I start singing? Okay, well, uh, it was late. High school probably like sophomore mid sophomore year mm -hmm. um found out that my dad was a famous singer which i didn't know about till like later so um okay you know i i tried tried rapping for a little bit uh, of course that, you did that didn't go well, <laughs> well i was hanging around the boys you know yeah. they're like you yeah, know how they go rap. yeah rapping wasn't my forte mm -hmm. so you know i was in choir and i was good at that uh -huh. and um you know i started i never took it personal well, mm -hmm. I, not personal, but more serious. Mm -hmm. um, until I found out, hey, like my dad does this for a living. Also, yeah, and I didn't even know this. And so, you know, I tried, I tried uh, doing more vocal lessons and trying to get better at it, trying to hit higher notes and see what I could do. And it was actually coming natural. Okay. And I was like, lit. I can't rap. Like, Same. <laughs> right. But I was like, okay, I'll, I'll take one instead of the other. That's fine. Uh -huh. um, yeah. So I was in choir ever since high school, and I just kept going from there. And uh, mm -hmm. Prince Atkins. That that actually that's a little bit more of an insider. Oh, okay. But um, <laughs> I can't. Part of that, y'all. Yeah, I can't. I can't really say where the Prince Atkins came from, but okay. um, I did inherit it from a family member. So oh, okay. That's as close as I can get for that. Okay. But um, I don't. I don't know. At first, like you know, Aaron and them tossed me like a nickname. They were like, "Oh, well, you don't have an artist name. Like, we're gonna call you Seawick." So I was like, "Oh, that's not who." Funny. Aaron. No, they wanted to call you what? <laughs> Seawix. <laughs> That's no longer allowed to do that. You're fired. <laughs> what, Kane? That's I'm a, dead. Look. <laughs> That's a. <laughs> they try to play you. I'm dead. <laughs> that was actually my my first artist name. Kid, wow. kid you not. I had that since I was. Thank God you changed it. Eighth grade. <laughs> like yeah, and they're like they're like oh yeah, young Seawix. Uh, Chad mm -hmm. Wicks. Chad Wicks. And oh I was like, my God. Yeah. And I had it for a bit, and uh, it was funny. Is that I actually made. A rookie like mixtape, boo boo. Don't listen to it. Okay, so not, you probably won't be able to find it. <laughs> won't be able to find it. Those are the but, um, yeah, that's how I, Aaron and Aaron Pat and everybody that grew up with, mm -hmm. they were like, yeah, we're gonna call you Seawix, and I was like, wow. I was like, what? Okay, so I had that, but you know, after getting the insider from the family, switched over to Prince Agnes, started doing mm -hmm. better. Okay, but, you know, okay. So um, a lot of men say that they became singers for women. So mm. when you started noticing that was kind of a thing for women, or if you haven't already, it is. Um, is that the reason why you started, or is that a reason you'll keep going? It's because of the um, women. Is it fair to say that um, it's influenced by yes, that? Yes, very so much so. That's okay? Honestly, All that's right. how Chris <laughs> Brown started, because, you know, he started rapping when he was younger, and he said that he realized he could sing, and then women loved it so much, oh. that's what progressed him to keep singing. I appreciate that. Yes, okay. so it's a thing. Okay. <laughs> That's why I'm like, mm, you got a voice, so you got to make bitches panties wet. Like, <laughs> that had to be a reason why you kept going. <laughs> um, well, I, I, I have noticed that my, my singing have attracted a few people, you know, but, you know, coming from any artist's point of view, like, you never... You never look at your craft the way at well the way that somebody else. Would yeah, look at true. It. So you like if you make it, you're like, uh, it's all right. But to mm -hmm. someone else, would be like, oh my god, you're amazing. And yeah. Like, and you know when you kind of get fueled into that, you're mm -hmm. just like, oh yeah, you know, maybe yeah. I am cool. Like, <laughs> maybe this works. Maybe this does work. You know. But, okay. Yeah. So obviously you're a fan of anime. I am. As most guys are. What's your favorite anime of all time? Mm -hmm. Oh man. Look. At different ones of, of all time yeah um, it has to be one yeah uh, just one okay top three okay cool look right. <laughs> that worked like, better okay <laughs> okay seven but, five. okay um the first one would have to be gundam of all time gundam has its own series and my older brother like brought me into gundam like that was my first anime ever like okay i used to remember my brothers having to wake up 
six o'clock in the morning for school. You know how it is at the catch <laughs> yes. up early bus. Oh my god. And then they have the early morning animes and the early morning cartoons that are mm -hmm. playing and like I always used to see like these robots, these mechs and like yeah. And I was like, yo, these are cool. And I was like, Jeff, what is this? He's like, it's an anime called Gundam. He's like, we've been watching this since way back. And I was like, oh, yeah. yeah. So that was my first one I got into, loved it. So okay. I grew up with it. Um, my second favorite anime is actually a recent anime. It's called mm -hmm. K. Um, that one is more based off of, it's based off of like different kings. Okay. And um, for them, they kind of, they have like this little thing going on where like, it's the red king, it's the blue king, mm -hmm. you have the gray, silver king, and they all have their own personalities, but they okay. all fight for the same thing, but they don't realize it. Mm -hmm. And so, um, I don't want it to be a spoiler for people that are going to go watch it, because like, mm -hmm. if I talk more about it, it'll be a spoiler. Okay, but, yeah, no. you know, go, go watch it, check it out. I don't want that beef. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. So, that I would have to have K at number two. Okay. I think the third one of all time mm -hmm. would have to be Samurai Shampoo. I was almost there. I thought I was going to know what you were talking about, but I don't. <laughs> you thought it was going to be Naruto? Um, no, actually, one of my favorite ones is um, the Butler, Black Butler. Black Butler's good. That's one of my favorite wow, ones. Wow, do you like Black Butler? Um, yeah, okay. only because my ex um, used to watch it all the time, so when we sit down and watch it, um, I wasn't into it, but then he like explained to me the background of the Butler, yeah. and I was like, that's kind of tight. He's dope. And Full Metal Alchemist. Those are the only two that I know. Look at <laughs> Yay, I get claps for that. <laughs> yes. Yes, I don't know. Thank you. That's the only thing I know. I do know what Naruto. No, what'd you say? Naruto. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> I know it's all. <laughs> it's, it's all right. I know what those are, like but I, said, I don't watch it. I know Dragon Ball Z. That's it. Well, I don't Dragon Ball Z is great. I don't know why people, well, the new age kids don't mm -hmm. like it now. They're like, it's Dragon Ball Z, it's whatever. Yeah. I'm like, we grew up with that. Okay, do you count the Boondocks as an anime? You want me to be honest? I yeah. would because okay. they, they had a lot of Japanese animators. Okay. So I feel like if you have Japanese animators on a show, mm -hmm. they can be considered an anime. Okay, yeah. Because I was thinking with the fighting and the style of the drawing and stuff like that, mm -hmm. I took it as an anime, but everybody else was like, it's just a black show. <laughs> just a so, black show it's a know. black cartoon like first off they talk about real shit so. yeah it's really political it is it's, it's very it's, mm -hmm. it's good if people look past the ignorance of it yeah but they purposely do that yeah. to show people how people really act yeah true you like know. the R. Kelly episode <laughs> <laughs> no that one was... <laughs> they put another season or out it? for him Did you oh hear about that? really yeah no I don't want to watch it yeah, but R. Kelly first off we get it one season was enough like it was too much the Aaliyah part was too much for me it was enough but anyways I don't want to get into that yeah, but no that was, I just like I did like the grandpa one though um the what's his name the one that came back from the dead oh stink meter stink meter yes. that one was funny so stink meter, yeah. that's one of my favorites mm -hmm. okay so um who are your biggest inspirations when it comes to singing oh wow okay um, <laughs> This you is, can have a top three if you want. <laughs> well, this is interesting. Okay, uh, biggest influence. I would have to mm -hmm. say I was a huge fan of John Legend's music. Okay. Um, When I heard Heaven, mm -hmm. Heaven Only Knows, oh, man. So beautiful. I was like, yes, I got to get into that. Heaven Only yeah. Knows started me off with John Legend, and he had a, he also had a song called PDA. Oh. And um, PDA was really good. Like, mm -hmm. that, that was really nice. Another... I think another one, what's his name? Come on, Chad. <laughs> Donnell, Donnell Jones. Donnell Jones. Donnell oh, Jones. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of oh, people yeah. won't know about Donnell Jones, but Donnell man. Jones is where I want to be. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Donnell Jones is where I want to be. <laughs> yes. Oh, Jones. Okay. That man's music is so. Ugh. Yeah. Just, look at That's what I'm about Brian McKnight. So. Mm. Yeah. Look at <laughs> For real. Um, um, so okay, so that's the overall inspiration. So who, who or what inspires your voice? Because you have a different sound. Because the way you talk is not how you sing. It's not. So yeah, like, you're <laughs> more of a was it uh, alto at the time? Um. Well, for a male vocalist, mm -hmm. uh, my natural is a baritone and tenor high. Okay. But the range I can shoot up to is a soprano too. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Um, I do have a very sharp vocal range. Okay. Um, but uh, yes, that was actually that was influenced a lot by uh, 
Whoa, who was it? Okay, um, there's a singer called Mayor Hawthorne. I don't know if anybody heard of him. Mm -hmm. um, Mayor Hawthorne, he's very, he's very slept on, but he's a Motown, okay. he's a Motown artist. And okay, some people might know. I don't know. The man is nice. Okay. And then, obviously, I'm influenced by a lot of Prince. Oh, so, like, yeah. Yes. <laughs> he, he has a Definitely. song. Well, because everybody listens to Prince, but they listen mm -hmm. to mainstream Prince songs. Yeah. And I'm like, do you really know Prince? <laughs> oh, like, um, Pink. <laughs> He has a song called Pink Cashmere. Have you heard of it? Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. I only know mainstream Prince. So, I mean, my mom, she plugged right. I'm showing. I'm joking. No, it's I. Okay. I just I couldn't I couldn't get into him. I really did try. I mm. like the mainstream like poppy stuff, mm. but when I tried to listen to like his album, I was like, I couldn't get it. Into it couldn't it. click. Huh? Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's, he's a great um, artist, though. I give him that. Right. So. He's he's one of those artists. Well, let's let's be honest. Like, have you ever listened to someone for the first time and like you scroll through their album, you're just like either either it's good or it's not. Yeah, he's, definitely. He's one of those people that like you have to listen to it once, mm -hmm. and then like years down the line, you come back to him and you're like, damn, I didn't know you were something. Yeah, like this. yeah. I've had plenty of those ones. So maybe I need to listen to it again because this was about eight nine years ago. Yeah, his his. His musical his musical mindset is really different from everybody else. That's okay. why a lot of people can't adapt. Because okay. everybody has like a different musical ear. Okay. And um for him, he hits a lot of genres, but he hits it differently mm -hmm. from what people expect it to sound like. Okay. So when they expect like, okay, I'm listening to like rock and roll, I'm mm -hmm. listening to soul, I'm listening to jazz, I'm expecting this. Yeah. And when they hear him do it, they're like Hmm. That's different. Yeah. Yeah. It's kinda, okay. Yeah. So I just have to probably give myself another chance. Just yeah. <laughs> just gotta just gotta reswing it. It's it's every artist. I'm sure you can throw me an artist right now, and I could have been like, I think I listened to him or her, and I didn't oh. like him the first time. It's, mm. That's everybody, because everybody just got their taste. I'm gonna be honest with you. I've been listening to um, like Ari Lennox now. Um, I'm getting more into like I want to call it trap R and B. Trap R and B. Soul R and B. Soul? Yeah, trap okay. soul. So like I've been into Bryson that. Tiller. Yeah, um, okay. I didn't like Bryson Tiller at first, but it was just because yeah. I couldn't relate to it, or I just because I I get really um, emotionally connected to music, so right. I connect my whole life when it comes to a song. Okay. So that's my problem. Um, I'm learning to break out of that, but I've also been listening to like um, just people that they throw me people. So like I'm on like right now I'm on Gigi Lo. Mm -hmm. She's a new artist coming out. Um, so like I said, Ari Lennox. Um, shoot a couple other people i'll let you know about but um it's all in my phone so even um fk twigs have you ever heard of her mm -mm. okay you know the guy from uh twilight edward yes. it's his wife it's a black girl from like britain or something like that he married and, a black girl yeah, that's what i said <laughs> when I, I, was, I was like what? So um, you like black women? Like okay, yeah. So that's, I, I know that upset a lot. Of oh people. man, what? So yeah. So <laughs> I show you her. Her style is crazy, but um, yeah. That's crazy. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Personal notes. I'm yeah. Get... Okay. Um. So we're gonna get personal with you right now. Okay. I wanna dig deep into your mind, into uh -oh. your life. Um. Are you single? Um. Technically, I would have to say yes. Right what now. does that mean? <laughs> you either is or you ain't. I'm not uh, gonna play with y'all niggas. <laughs> well, okay. Well, for me, um, I'm, I'm kind of towards like the tr the traditional way of dating. Okay. So for me, I don't just like jump into something. Mm -hmm. uh, for for me, when I'm in a dating process, mm -hmm. I have to try to get to learn and to know somebody because. When you try to get and when you try to get to learn and to know about someone, um, it gives you a chance to know who you're going to be spending the rest of your life with, or who you could potentially be spending the rest of your life with. Okay. So I don't just want to hop into something. I will say that I am seeing someone. Okay. I am. I am you're going dating. on dates with someone. Okay. But I'm not taken. Got so it. So I would rather like enjoy the journey and try to find out more about this person, get to know more as a dating process. Is I was going to say that is literally just a long way of saying you're dating. Okay. <laughs> but you no, can... I get it. But you're only dating one person. So do you do you only do one person? Are you like are you okay with multiple people? Because some people are cool with just talking to one person, seeing how it works. If it doesn't work, boom, onto one other person. You know, like people don't like dating multiple people at the same time. Yeah, I don't. I don't do the multiple dating. Though. Okay. Um, I stick to one person because mm -hmm. every time, as I, I'm young, but I'm an old head. Okay. Thinking dating wise, so yeah. like when. I consider dating somebody is 
it takes you a lot with me just to get you in that spot okay like because i don't just like say yes to anybody even like dating wise okay um you have to be someone i click with in some way shape or form yeah i'm saying it's okay to be picky yeah who cares you know it's just because for me like regardless i i try to shoot for i try to shoot for marriage okay that's good long term stuff even though like i don't rush it fast but i was like you got to be someone that i'm sure that i want to I want to stick with for the rest okay, of the Okay, let me take back my niggas ain't shit comment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dating to um, marriage. Got yeah. it. All right, so what is your type then? Um, if you want me to be honest, mm-hmm. I don't fully know. Oh, and that's that's, that's really, okay. That's really hard to say, but I don't, I don't really fully know. I feel like you don't fully know your type unless you fully know yourself. And okay, let's drop I, that gym real quick. <laughs> let's go. And um, I and I have to be honest, I'm still growing. Okay. And um, I'm still growing, and I'm still learning more about myself. Nice. So uh, you know, being around people that will eventually show me more things that I like about mm-hmm. myself, and I'll see it in them. Mm-hmm. You know, is a growing process for me. Nice. So like, um, you know, it's it's up in the air. It's okay. Up in the air. I'm We're not there yet. Got yeah. it. So what are you looking for in a woman then? Um I'm I'm looking for I'm looking for long term I'm looking for a friend that is also a wife that can potentially be a mother. Okay. So what happens is that um, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, a lot of people aren't, aren't looking for it. Like me, like okay, some people are into like, you know, I just need something from the moment or Right, I right. I I can't do it. Because what happens is that uh, me, which also the reason why I'm a, I'm a singer, but I'm a singer, <laughs> um, I get emotionally attached. I do. Mm-hmm. I get drawn. That's okay. And so, like, once I'm attached, I'm attached. Yeah. You know, I'll stick with you, like, through the thick and thin. Okay. And um, so, like, that's why I can't just hop to any type of boat. So, like, mm. you know. Okay. Okay, so let's say you are in a relationship. Right. Been with her for a while. Mm-hmm. You're a fan of anime and cosplay, obviously. Mm-hmm. Is cosplay something that you bring into the bedroom? Oh, definitely. Oh, oh have okay. you done it? Um. Oh no, let's talk about it. I need to know. Uh, what were y'all dressed as? Look, no, no I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I need to play by play. If you want me to be honest, I mm-hmm. I wish that that would be that is a turn on. Okay. That is, I would. That was my next question. That's one okay. of the things that I have found to be a turn on. Like, okay. You know, is girls that are into role anime or role or, playing? Oh. Well, anything role playing, cosplaying. Like, mm-hmm. I think visual, visual is a good thing for me. Oh yeah. Visual is a very. I'm sure it's a lot for everybody. Too. Oh yeah. Like, visual is a good thing. You know, like, mm-hmm. um, if I see you treating yourself right, and especially like, you know, you're like, hey, like I went out and like bought me some lingerie. Or yeah you know you got something to bring into the vet like that's cool you know it doesn't keep things flat it doesn't keep things dull yeah I mean, you know okay. it, it shows me you're trying and that's cool too you know okay so so what what is a um oh no i'm sorry i messed that up <laughs> uh what, what would you say is the best feature on yourself aside from your voice the best feature on myself mm-hmm. um being honest Okay. I would have to. I would have to say it's probably it's probably my face. Okay. I got, I got that Theodore chubby face. <laughs> so like, <laughs> like, I had a lot of people tell me they're like, "Yo, you got those Theodore cheeks." And oh like, you know, when I was young, like my mom used to call me Theo. Like oh, okay. when it used to be with my um, like the chipmunks, my older brothers. Yeah, okay. it was the three boys, so it was Alvin, Simon, and Theodore. Oh lord. And, um, <laughs> It's just I don't know because my my cheeks compliment my eyes, my mm-hmm. eyes compliment my cheeks, and then so I think okay. it's just it's here, <laughs> it's here more than anything. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, what is the first physical attribute you see on a woman, or that attracts you to go talk to that woman? The height. Really? The height. Short. I'm a, I'm a, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. It's, it's all a, right. I, I know height shame in the still. I don't, I don't know why. I think it's just it's a protective thing. Okay. It's a protective thing. With okay. Me. I don't know why. I just that that feeling of like they need you. Yeah. But like girls are independent, so don't get me wrong. Yes, I don't want to say are. that. Be independent. I'm proud of you. <laughs> you do not need a man for anything. Damn like, straight. So let you know. <laughs> let you know today. Like, but I, I think it's just that it's that feeling of men being appreciated and wanted. Okay. I guess the same way that like women would want. You know. Yeah. Okay. Um. Do you fuck to your own music? 
<laughs> um, Stop me from ending with that, you know? <laughs> if I have. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't even mean to. My phone was on shuffle. Sure, sure. It, it was on shuffle. It's okay. If it if it helps, music soul music, music soul child was playing before. So oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, <laughs> we got their kind of up there together. So I'm just saying. <laughs> that man is a legend. Yeah, he is. So is that um, like the first thing you turn on? Like, okay, so let's say you're making your playlist. Do you make sure you purposely put yourself in there? Um, I've never, I've never put myself in my own playlist. Being honest oh, okay. with you, I've oh. never, I've never. You listen never, to yourself in the car? Um. I do, but I'm not in like a playlist. I just, oh, okay. I just play my music. I've never been in a playlist, but I guess if I ever was to put some music in the playlist, I do have a few songs that's on the sexual side. Okay. Um, so You're supposed to. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. I think if anything, any songs that I would put in there is prom, I think prom queen. Okay. Prom queen would be one. And I have one song called fourth period anatomy. Oh, okay. Period Anatomy is definitely a song that I would put on mm. there. And um, try that out. I think those are two of the most sexual songs I've ever made in my life. Like, Send those to me, please. Put it in my playlist. Well, like, we'll do. Like, so, like, <laughs> you're going to be on Spotify soon, too. So. Swag. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're running out of time. Okay. I want to thank you so much, Chad, for being here with me thank today. You for me. Um, let people know how they can find you, work with you, whatever. Okay, well, um, if you if you want to find my music, I'm on Spotify and I'm on SoundCloud at the moment. I haven't got to any like Apple Music or Title, but you can just type in Prince Atkins and I'll pop up. My Kudo album is up right now. Um, if you ever want to link or to work together, you can also find any of my social media under Prince Atkins. Like, you'll find me, message me. I'm not like. I'm not like a diva or anything, <laughs> so like I will message you back. He's very, you. very humble, y'all. Yeah. Very humble. <laughs> I try to be, you know. Yeah. And I, I will, I will link up with anything. People ask me for, you know, for features for music mm. all the time. So if you need something, let me know. I'll hook you up, or you can find me here at Matt's Dude. You know, I'll take Ooh. care of you. Yes, right definitely. <laughs> all right, thank you so much. Thank y'all again for tuning in on another episode this week with me. We'll catch y'all next week on Open Book. We out. Slow touch.